If you're looking to score tons of goals in Football Manager and play beautiful football the same way that Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side have been doing in real life, then stick with us because we have the tactic for you. Welcome to the video everyone, I'm Jake for FM Scout and as mentioned today we'll be looking at a fantastic tactic made by Nap that's inspired by Pep Guardiola's current Manchester City team. A few disclaimers before we get into it though, firstly do stick with us in this one because I'm going to suggest a few tweets you could potentially make to this tactic should you want to. Second is that this tactic is inspired by Pep's current style but it's not an exact replication and third you're going to see us testing with Manchester City first but don't worry we've tested with relegation teams and non-league teams that we'll show you later in the video. Now, if you do enjoy this one, smash the like button, comment down below if you've had any luck with this tactic and subscribe for more. With that being said, let's check out our first team. Now, we have two sides in the Premier League and the first one that we're testing with is Manchester City, who in real life under Pep look to be potentially winning a treble. In this world, though, they've won the double, winning the FA Cup and also winning the Premier League with 100 points, 33 wins and four losses and a goal difference of a very high 92, far more than anybody else in the league. You'll also see there's another team here highlighted in blue. It's a team that we tested with that we'll talk about in a few minutes. But firstly, let's take a look at Manchester City. It's the most extreme case of this tactic. Most of you won't be playing with a team of Manchester City, PSG, Real Madrid quality. So I wouldn't expect anyone to do this well. But just to put it out there, I've tested this once. I haven't repeated the test to get better results. This is what we got first time round and the big key stat from this tactic is that it scores tons of goals 129 for City impressive but Southampton as well extremely impressive with 80 goals it's not the most defensive in the world you can see the quality of your players will have a big impact Man City with a great defense conceded 37 our Southampton team with the exact same tactic conceded 66 so clearly you do need some decent personnel to be able to use this tactic well but if we go to the data hub we'll have one more look at City before moving on and taking more of an in-depth look at some of the other teams but City here over three goals per game good pass completion we're not conceding too many but the big thing is we're creating tons of chances and having lots of opportunities on goal we did mention Southampton though that is another team that we tested this tactic with they were predicted to come 17th in the Prem when we started this simulation but instead we finished in ninth mind you not on the craziest points total in the world we've actually lost more games than we've won but 54 points is not too shabby at all we've managed to stay up and we weren't too far away from from the Conference League places in seventh. Now, as we mentioned, Southampton did concede a lot of goals, but when it comes to goal scoring, they were as good as anybody. And realistically, their attack wasn't that great. The fact that Shea Adams was leading the line for us and we got 80 goals shows you what you could do with some real high quality players. In terms of shots four, we've done very well. But just to let you know, obviously, like I say, it's not an exact replication. In real life, of course, Pep absolutely loves possession and loves keeping the ball with his teams. In this world, Man City do keep possession, but not as much as some other teams. And Southampton we're up there. So it's not a crazy possession tactic or anything like that, but it does do a very good job. But let's move on to some other teams that we tested with first dropping to the championship. And we've got one more test to look at after this one going all the way to non-league. But We decided to test with Coventry here who were predicted a mid-table finish. In real life, they ended up finishing in the playoff spots, but didn't end up going into the Premier League. Here though, we finished three points off the title and managed to get promoted against some teams that were far better than us with 30 wins and 10 losses. 45 goal difference and 96 points a very good season for our Coventry team the biggest takeaway is yet again we are scoring more goals than anybody else in the division we're scoring 115 while title winners Blackburn only got 90 goals most shots for we're apparently dead level with Norwich exactly dead level that's pretty crazy but we've got 895 goals we're going to claim first spot we were the team that took the most shots and in terms of fewest conceded as mentioned this isn't a tactic but super defensive we ended up conceding 70 but we did score a ton of goals. You guys, though, might want to shore up your defences a little bit better. Realistically, though, it's because I'm playing with a team here that I don't know anything about. I don't know whether Coventry have got great centre-backs that can play this tactic brilliantly. I've just decided to choose them and run the tactic just to give you guys as accurate a representation as possible. There's a good chance with better players, you'll have much more luck than I did. But you can see, once again, this is all about attacking. We are having loads of shots per game, 2.5 goals per game going in. It's very, very good when it comes to scoring. And then we go to the biggest surprise of it all. I decided to drop to non-league after a lot of you guys have been commenting on the recent tactic videos asking for us to test in non-league. And I decided to choose Dorkin, who were predicted 19th place 
in the division. Now, Notts County being the best team in the league absolutely smashed it and finished 13 points above us. But we finished in the playoffs and ended up getting promoted. Wrexham didn't go up in the end. And whilst it was very close at the top, it's been a great season for us as Dorkin. 27 wins, 10 losses. And overall, we have been absolutely dominant. Once again, when it comes to goal scoring, we are the best team when using this tactic. The tactic is designed to score as many goals as possible by the looks of it. And it's doing a great job. 117 goals. Most shots is again our side. And just to prove to you that this tactic isn't designed for amazing defences, if we go to fewest conceded, you can see we're all the way down here. We've let in the second most goals in the league. So we're trying to outscore all of our opponents. And if we have a look at the schedule, you can get an idea of how these games have gone. I mean, there's a 5-4 match against Mansfield, a 5-2 match against Maidstone. We then lose 5-0 away to Gateshead. That is after a man sent off. So we can give ourselves a bit of slack there. But then 6-4 against York, 5-2 against Maidenhead. We're looking to outscore everybody else pretty much. And we even did that in our playoff match, winning 3-2, outscoring the opposition. Obviously, the only way you can win a football match is outscoring the other team. But we are really letting them score a few before putting a few past them. And once more, it's the same old story. We're taking a load of shots and we're scoring a lot of goals when we check it out in the data hub. But now we get onto the fun bit, breaking down the tactic. Just to let you know, if you want to just download the tactic straight up, there'll be a link to it in the description. But to break down everything that's going on in case you want to replicate it, this is a custom Tiki Taka style set with a balanced mentality but before we get into the team instructions let's have a look at the roles and the player instructions first we're going for a sweeper keeper on the support duty asked to take more risks and then we've got two wide center backs who we're asking to tackle harder if you want less bookings feel free to take this off but it is something that we have on our players we have a ball playing defender on cover who's going to dribble more and again tackle harder a defensive midfielder set to support who is looking to tackle harder purely for the fact that I don't want to say tackle harder anymore I'm not going to mention it again but you've got a volante on attack with that instruction once more we've got a winger on support with basic duties on the left and the right two attacking midfielders who are looking to move into channels roam from position and the instruction that i refuse to say anymore and then when we get to our striker i mean same old story he is looking to do one thing and one thing only it's an advance forward on the attack looking to tackle harder there we go hopefully we don't have to say that again as mentioned it's a balanced mentality and in possession we are having a standard attacking width we're looking to pass into space underlap on the left and underlap on the right with a passing directness of shorter in extremely high tempo something that works really well in football manager this year we're playing low crosses into the box and we're looking to run at the defense in transition we're counter pressing when we've lost the ball and when we win it we're looking to counter and distribute quickly playing the ball out to the center backs and the goalkeeper his job is to roll it out to them then the center backs are hopefully going to distribute we've got three center backs in that back line out of possession we're triggering the press much more often we're preventing goalkeeper distribution and we're getting stuck in with a standard defensive line and a high press line of engagement now it isn't the most normal looking tactic in the world but it definitely gets the job done when it comes to scoring goals if we look at our best 11 with our dorking side do note that a lot of players contracts have expired since the season is over that's why we've got a random goalkeeper in there but you can see see we were doing this tactic with very limited talent players so there's a good chance with whatever team you've got you'll at least get some decent results out of it but do expect to concede some goals as a disclaimer as well we had a pre-season here so if you launch this tactic mid-season out of nowhere you're not going to get instant results I wouldn't have thought it's going to take a bit of time for your team to kick in but you can see what it does to our attacking players we might be giving up a little bit in the defensive phase but when it comes to the attack our two attacking midfielders have got 23 goals and 24 goals between them and then on the left side we have got 12 goals from that winger but the main one is our striker getting 55 goals in all competitions Alfie Rutherford you wouldn't expect him to be very good with only 13 finishing and not too much outside of that however when it comes to the in-game performance he has scored a goal a game whilst assisting and we have been very very dominant like I say it's not an exact replication of what Pep is doing in real life but in terms of the shape it's fairly similar and also Nap has written in the tactic name the word Pep so you know he was trying to do something in terms of that Guardiola influence but either way we're winning games that's exactly what Guardiola would want but let's have a look at how it looks in game we'll go to our Vanarama national playoff semi-final where we won 4-1 so we've got three goals from our striker and it looks like one of our wingers scored and got three assists 
Now, I'm going to put it out there. I'll show it in a second, but I imagine the corner tactic is having a big effect here. If you download the tactic, you'll get the corner tactic with it, but I will show it in detail in a few minutes for anyone that does want to see it. But here we go. Here's our first goal. I don't know any of these players' names, but we're getting in down the byline. We're pulling it back for a very easy tap-in from this guy, Seager. He finishes well. I think he was one of our wingers. Then we concede a goal by the looks of it. Gateshead with a long-range free kick. Brilliant shot, actually, by Spellman right into the top left corner. But now all the goals from here are going to be us. So let's see how our team links up. It's a nice ball through the middle. Rutherford goes through and he takes his shot very comfortably into the bottom corner. That's our second goal for our third one. What have we got? Is it a corner? It's not. It's actually going to be another play forward where it looks like these through balls are really cutting apart the opposition defences. Remember, we're predicted to come 19th here and we are battering some sides that have way better squads than us and should be far better teams. And here is our last goal. Is it going to be a counter-attack? It looks like it will be. You can see it in full action here. Again, a single direct ball down the middle plays through our striker who finishes well he was in great form and he did brilliantly for us now i did mention a corner tactic so i'll quickly show you and um, this is what it looks like if anybody wants to replicate it you can take your players and place them wherever you like but basically it's a near post corner going to our biggest man and someone's coming short there's a bit of movement outside of that but that is the general gist of it again if you want to copy it free or free but if you do download the tactic this will come with it and it looks like on the other side uh, we're changing it up a little bit and we're playing it to the far post so you know you're getting some variety in there but this tactic has done very well in terms of scoring goals. It's performed well for a great team like Man City. Southampton expected to be in a relegation battle, finished in the top 10. We've got Dorking expected to be involved in that relegation scrap, getting promoted through the playoffs and Coventry getting automatic promotion despite being expected to finish mid-table. As mentioned, didn't select any of these sides based on the players they've got other than Manchester City. I just picked random teams and it's worked for all of them to a decent extent. All of them scoring tons of goals. Yes, they were conceding, but we're looking to outscore the opposition. If you did enjoy the video, smash the like button for us and I'll see you next time guys. Thank you and goodbye.